Hello everyone, my name is Miss Larson and today I'm going to be talking to you about embouchure, for, embouchure formation and buzzing onto your mouthpiece and instruments. So the first thing we're going to start off with is your embouchure, your embouchure formation. Um, so the first thing you want to do is that you want to make sure that your bottom and your top, your top and your bottom teeth are aligned to create this like perfect evenness between them. Um, for me, like I have a slight overbite, so I have to align my teeth. Usually I don't do this until about right when I'm about to start uh, bringing the mouthpiece to my mouth to start buzzing. So you shouldn't be sitting in class the whole entire time if you have like a drastic overbite and trying to align it all the time. Only do this when you're about to start your embouchure formation before you're about to play. So with that in mind, you just want to bring your top and your bottom teeth aligned together and then you want to create a small gap in between them for, so your air can go through to create your buzzing sound. Now if you like close your teeth and you have a gap in between, it's not, you're, that's not going to create a great buzzing sound. You want to have it like if you're going to bite your finger and you want like about that much space in between your two teeth. So you can get your air through there hard and fast enough to create your buzzing sound. So once you do all of that, the next thing you want to do is to make an mmm formation. And with this mmm formation, what it's going to do is going to help you bring the corners of your mouth into a tension, into like a more tight uh, tension. Uh, not too tight though. It's just like if you were you're just going to regular regularly say mm, you don't want it too tight because if you do this then it can distort um, your sound and everything so in doing so what you want to do is your embouchure is align your teeth make your small gap and then create the mm formation and when you do all this together the next thing you want to do is create that air push the air through that little gap that you have between your teeth and it should create your buzzing sound so I will demonstrate I'm gonna bring my teeth align I'm gonna align my teeth make sure I have a small gap and then I'm gonna do my mm and blow through it and right where I had my mouth when I opened, when I paused, was how much of a gap was between my teeth when I was blowing through it. So if you don't pull the corners of the mouth, if you, okay, so if you pull your corners and of your mouth, like I am right now, to where it's creating this really big smile formation with your embouchure formation, um, it's gonna become too distorted and it's going to be much harder and it's not going to function correctly and if it's too narrowed where you have it over puckered so if you're like like that where it's completely over puckered um, it's going to be unresponsive so you probably won't get like a really good tone or anything and if it is um, too narrow I mean if it's too wide it's going to be brittle so it's not going to be that full sound that you want when you um, are buzzing so with buzzing then, um, we're just going to do the basics first. So we're going to free buzz first without like, putting a mouthpiece or a mouthpiece um, visualizer in front of us. So you can go back to the free buzzing thing that I sh showed you while trying to form your embouchure where you align your teeth, create a small gap, and say mm and blow through. So it'd be like this again. Mm Another way you can do it is just flap your mouth together, which is just the regular <laughs> doing that. And then when you do that, what you can do is take your two pointer fingers and create a little tense, uh, create, gently press against the sides of the corner of your mouth. So you can do the <laughs> And with that, I went from a more gentle pushing down to a little bit rougher, but you definitely just, you just want to use this as a starting point. Definitely use the thing to 
uh, get your buzz. So now we're going to go into um, the mouthpiece visualizer. So this is a mouthpiece visualizer. And what it's like, it's like if I'm going to take this euphonium uh, mouthpiece and bring it to my lips. But instead you can actually see what is all going on rather than only seeing the little tube here. You can actually see what is going to happen when you put the mouthpiece up to your mouth and what is going on. So the most important thing to know at this point right now is that you need lots and lots of air, otherwise you're not going to produce a good tone and you're not going to be able to buzz correctly. Another thing you want to know and you don't not want to do is when you are in your embouchure formation and you're starting to buzz, you want to make sure that your cheeks don't inflate so you're not holding all of the air in your cheeks like, like that. You don't want to do that. You want it to be free and just going through that little opening in your mouth. And the other thing you don't want to do is to keep the air in your chin. So if you are playing and you go like, and you have all the air locked up in here, you don't want to do that because it's not helping with your buzzing and it's not going to make it any easier. It will probably make it even harder for you to do. So with the buzzing, I will show you how to do it with the mouthpiece visualizer. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my teeth are aligned. I have a small gap in between and I'm going to start with the mm formation and blow through that. So I'll make the mm formation and then I'll bring the mouthpiece up into my mouth. And as you can tell, the mouthpiece covers most of my lips. For most trumpet players or for most mouthpieces that are smaller, what you want to do is a 60% uh, upper and a 40% lower. So you have more upper than you are to lower. But what you do not want to do is have the mouthpiece like down here or too significantly high as well. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to be, be able to put any buzz through it. So I will show you with the mouthpiece visualizer what the buzzing will be like. So align, align the teeth, create the small gap, and make the mm formation, and then I'll blow through. And as you can tell, you can see that my middle of my mouth was slightly opened and the corners were tense. So that's what you want to do. And obviously with this, you can't really make a sound off of it, but you can kind of go up and down uh, with your air direction, which is what you want to do when you do get to the mouthpiece. So... <laughs> As you can tell, when I was directing my, I don't know if you can see, but when I was directing my air upward, um, my pitch actually got a little bit lower, and when I was trying to direct it down, it was trying to get higher, but I can't really produce it that well with the mouthpiece visualizer. So now that we're done with that, what exactly I did with this is what I want to do to the euphonium mouthpiece. So again, I'll bring it to my lips, and as you can see, I kind of have it like centered with my lips. It's not the 60-40 because I have really small lips. So it's kind of, it's centered with my lips about where my street, my airstream will go through. So again, I will make the embouchure formation, which is aligning your teeth, um, creating a small gap in between and making your, your mm formation. So with that, I just blew my air, I just blew my air straight through it, and I created that one pitch to create the buzzing sound on the mouthpiece. Now this time, I'll be directing my air upward or downward to see if you can hear the difference between going up and the pitch getting lower, and going down with the pitch getting higher. Oh. And again, you need to make sure you have lots and lots of air when you do this. Otherwise, if you're trying to buzz and you don't have a lot of air in your lungs and trying to push it through, it's just going to create it's just going to be more hard for you to create that buzzing sound. So this time I'm actually going to take a really big breath 
and you guys can see what it will be like. And then I released all of my air uh, towards the end of it. Alrighty guys, I hope that this was helpful for you with your embouchure formation and your buzzing.